Welcome back guys, Coach Stoneface here, and we are going to open up our second and currently only Obby Box of Upper Deck Series 2. As you can see here, the best cards we picked up in the first one were a Keandre Miller Young Guns, very unfortunate, and a Program of Excellence Canvas of Connor McMichael. So, not great, not great at all. Really hoping for something here. Let's make it up with a, you know, a box with Kaprizov and Stutzla. That would be fantastic, wouldn't it? But let's be honest, we're not expecting to get that lucky. So let's just see what we do get. Open up this box here. It is not wanting to come apart. There it goes. There it goes. So let's see what we get. I mean, we did get the Kirby Doc um, photo shoot flashback rookie materials, which wasn't too bad. But in terms of of the young guns we had, it it was awful. Just awful. So let's see what we can get today. The mail came in the other day and I did get quite a few of the boxes I've been waiting for. Now it's not Series 1, Series 2, but it is... Um, we got some cool things coming down the pipe. Um, we got another AHL coming which is exciting oops made a mess there so we got we'll go left to right um so yeah we have some another we have some more ahl stuff coming we have some goon squad stuff coming there, there's some cool cards i'm excited to see what what we get going here but without further ado let's get those young guns so again we're looking for kirill the thrill caprizo we're getting for timmy Stutzla. And as a consolation, we would accept a Dylan Cousins. I mean, we'll accept anything. That's what we get. But obviously, we want some of the big names. Again, in these packs, the black, the back of these cards are pretty bad. But Svechnikov, Warren Fogel, Darren Helm, and our first one is marquee rookie Connor Ingram. Now, if you don't know why I sound so disappointed to get that card is I think we had what 10 marquee rookies or 10 OPG cards in the first case here so really underwhelming in terms of value um Connor Ingram you know going through rehab here we, we you know wish him the best and, and nothing against him on that card it's just I am so tired we got our first young guns here I am so tired of getting OPG cards in my premium series one don't need to go through all the names. Oh, no, never mind. It's another marquee rookie of Michael McNiv or McNiven. There we go. And that's all she wrote. So not great at all. Slow start. Slow, slow start. But we will see. We're going to pick it up. Got a rookie portrait in here. Give me somebody good. I don't know who's all in this one. I can't remember. Look at the thing. Is there Laffy in it? But this one is Yanni Hakanapa. Hakenpa. can never say his name. But there we go. This video is going to be a lot quicker than the first one. Because the first one we read through every name. And that's okay. But now we know what to expect. We know where the disappointments lie. And this one is all about finding those big name young guns. That is the goal. So we'll go right into it. And another marquee rookie in Mackenzie Entwistle. Remember the last video? Wife knows him. There we go. Or knows him, like, her, went to school with with him or something like that. Her, her family's friends with his family. But nope, not able, never met him. Not able to get any merch or any of that myself, unfortunately. Got another Dazzlers. Oh, UD Canvas, Alex Ovechkin. John Gibson Dazzlers. So there we go. We got our double pack right away in this one. Last one was a Dazzlers canvas as well. It was uh, Drew Doughty and Nick Robertson. Okay, can we get our first Young Guns? We do. You can already see that the corner's not fantastic on it. So let's slow play this one. Make sure there's nothing there. There's not. All right. Who do we have? Braden Burke. Braden Burke, young gun here. All right. For the Coyotes. 
in the AHL last year. Okay, in two eight well, AHL last year is a point per game. Before that, you know he didn't have a great rookie season, but that's not too bad. Braden Burke. Let's see, what we get here in our second pile. So we got one young guns again. Not a great name, but we're still waiting for that big one. Connor Inger, Marky Rookie, the second one we have now. Are they both the same? No. One is parallel. So we have a red parallel and just your regular one, it looks like. There we go. So I'm going to see what the Marky Rookies are on here. Um, OPG Award winners, Retro Updates, Redboard Parallels are 1 in 600. So, I mean... Apparently, they're, it's a better one. Would have liked a better name for that. Oh, I should have done this last at the last one. I didn't go through the checklist and, and see really who it is we're, we're looking for in terms of, you know, the um, marquee rookies or anything like that. We'll just go right into this. Marquee rookie here of Pierre Oliver Joseph. We do have his so flimsy. Um, do have his young gun canvas, which is cool. All right, so far just the one young gun. Looks like there might be one in here. I can't really tell though. There is. All right. Mason Marchment. So we just found, uh, his OPG one before, former Leaf prospect here. I don't remember who he was traded for, but played four games for the Leafs with one apple last year. So two young guns, zero big names. Well, eight young guns, I guess. We didn't even get a young gun came or anything last game, last box. Let's hope for some better luck in in this one. Right to the portraits here. We got Shane Bowers rookie portrait. And cool picture for Jonathan Quick there, but Alright, we're almost halfway through. We have two young guns expecting one more in this pile. Don't know why, I just did. Kotkaniemi. And we do have one. Alright. There it is, Kirill the Thrill Kaprizov. Nice looking young gun there. That is the one we're looking for. He is the big name. Now, if you remember correctly, when I opened my artifacts, I had the Minnesota Wild, um, the redemption card, and I sold it for like 150 right before Kaprizov started going crazy. It's now going for 500, which is very unfortunate. But we have Kirill the Thrill Kaprizov. I'm just going to send him right over here so we don't lose it. That's that's great. That's what we're looking for. That pays for the boxes and then some. So we are in a good spot so far. Ooh. Hit the cord. They're trying to throw that, that out. My apologies. All right. And we have a canvas here of Anders Lee. Unfortunately, he's out for the season at this point. Try to get some of these cards out of the way so maybe it's not bouncing around too much. There we go. All right. Well, now that we have the big one, I'm excited. There's no way we're going to get Stutzla or Cousins now, but we have the big one, the big fish. Ooh. All right, so I'm going to... We'll go like this. I don't know. I thought that was the card. Okay, we got a Richard Panic. Clear cut here. Cool looking card. Obviously not the name you want to see in the clear cut, but still a very cool looking card there. Alright. This box has proven to be pretty good actually. I mean I'm not too bad with the, the names we're getting here in, in the Young Guns. We have the red bordered parallel for OPG. 
Now, I mean, the last one we did get a rookie patches, but we got a Matt Dumbo award winner, our second one of that. Another checklist. Jeez Louise. A lot of repeat cards here. I think that's the fifth checklist we have. All right. Oh, Maple Ridge. I thought I saw Maple Leafs on there, but I couldn't figure out why. So we got a Meal Alarmy Portraits. There we go. All right. So yeah, I mean, I mean, our best two young guns are Keandre Miller and Kirill Kaprizov. Kaprizov obviously is far and away the better one. But we have three more coming. So you never know what we're going to get. Another checklist there, Leon and Patty Kane. And we have a Nick Robertson marquee rookie. I mean, I'm excited for Nick Robertson. I think he's going to be, I think he showed some flashes in his skill. I think he's like a Mitch Marner where he's a bit undersized, so he needs to be fast. But I think it's a Leafs effect, right? Like, and I mean, I'm a Leafs fan, so obviously I'm okay with that. But I think his value is just because he plays for the Leafs and, and Leafs, Toronto, Canada, overhype everyone and... Don't know what we're getting here. And it is Joe Pavelski canvas. Okay, I thought it might be something a little bit better than that. So we still got three more. Young guns. I'm a little worried now. We got the big one, so you only get three. Looks like there might be a young guns in this. Jack Roslovic. So I just want to see here. So he played 70. Okay, so we did play 71 games the last two years. 29 and 24 points. It looks like he's going to surpass that here this year with uh, Columbus. See what we get here. Keegan Colser for the Golden Knights. It's felt like a thick pack, but it really isn't. I don't know why. So there is our fourth Young Guns, Keegan Colser. I think he's a more of a tough guy. We played one game last year, didn't do much in it. All right, final six packs here. Two young guns were missing. I'm guessing the rest are going to be OPG because why not? This one's an OPG. All right, Flower and Austin Matthews, and we have Emil Larmy, marquee rookie. Man, those are such flimsy cards. Okay, Capo Caco, like. What happened to him? He's supposed to be great, and then he's not. Kind of like Laffy, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Uh, might get a young gun here. Yep, so let's just leave the young guns till, till the end. Let's spoil ourselves. Let's play the game where we hope we get Stutzla or... Dylan Cousins in the same pack, which is highly unlikely. Highly, highly unlikely. All right, looks like there's just the Nick Robertson rookie portraits. There we go. So, <coughs> excuse me, lose my voice. Young gun in this one, so we there's our final two young guns right here. And we got two packs left. So my guess is at least one of these will be OPG. The other one might be a canvas. I don't think we have enough canvases yet. But let's find out. This one is a canvas, in fact. It is a John Tavares canvas. There we go. Legends roll, walking by it. And we are going to finish off here before we head look at our two young guns. And is it an OPG? Yes, it is. At least it looks cardboardy. It is an OPG rookie phenom. Artem Zigadulin. All right. So now... Trying to see where it is. Okay, so nothing crazy. Nothing behind it. Our first of the last young guns is 
Nikolai Kenshov. Kazinchov. There we go for the San Jose Sharks, it looks like. There we go. And our last one here. Again, I'm expecting it to be pretty underwhelming considering we have the Kaprizov. It is Darren Radish. He's already balding. He must be old. Yeah, not a great three HL seasons, only 80 points. Not what you want to see. But we did get a Kaprizov. That is what you want to see. So I'm excited for that. Let's see what we can uh, we can do with them. But overall, guys, two hobby boxes, um, one good young guns, a bunch of terrible ones. But that's the way she rolls sometimes. So thank you very much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next one.